Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday. It's 16 October. Pretty quiet overnight. A uh, few things to talk about from yesterday. Uh, we'll start with Sterling. So Sterling is now above the 200-day moving average, uh, which comes in at 127.14. Traded up to 128, the figure here. Um, core long has been the way, and hard Brexit is now off the table, it looks like. So this should be pretty steady. Um, but we are recommending uh, cutting the position down. There's a lot of ways to do this. Um, you could take half off take a quarter of a position off or uh, what we're going to do is we're going to sell some calls against this so I don't need to get into uh, options trading um, for those of you who are not used to it um, but we're going to sell some calls we're going to sell these 128 calls uh, in the one week and we'll keep doing that until we get paid out of these calls or until we get stopped out the reason we're able to do this is because we have you know, quite a bit of distance between our entry. You know, we have you know 480 points, um, and so we're trying to like sell volatility, sort of after the fact of the move. Anyway, um, a lot of the good news is priced in. There will be some bad news. There will be some curveballs thrown uh, at this, so we are recommending cutting down on your sterling longs um, and there's no shame in just taking profit right uh, it's a big ass move it looks very the daily chart here obviously looks very straightforward as we all know it was not straightforward uh, there were plenty of hundred point moves to the left I can think of the one uh, on Thursday last week two seconds 80 points so anyway, applying caution to the long sterling trade. As far as new trades, uh, we put on this long euro yesterday, uh, which was a sort of proxy of this Brexit mashup. Uh, we bought through 110.10. We had some we had some tiny on from below the figure. We're core long euro dollar. Uh, boons are getting crushed. We think there's going to be evidence of some fiscal moves with the European budget this week. Uh, there's a whole load of reasons. Uh, we're trying to be core long euro. Uh, so if you missed it yesterday, you want to try and sneak some euros in today uh, between 110. 25 and 110.05. Um, otherwise, you can add through 110.60. Uh, we think euros kind of head back to this 114.10 area um, in the next sort of four weeks. So we're we're core long euro dollar. Boons through these lows now. Uh, we're getting close to this 40 basis point, minus 40 basis point region. Sell on rally, same thing, or core short. Uh, core short and don't even look at the chart. Uh, just leave your stop. This is not a technical pattern here. This is not, this is the DEES contract. This is the SEP contract. These are two separate contracts. It's two separate fixed income durations that are approximately 10 years long so this is not going to be a triple bottom and this is not a gap to fill um, really the technicals on boons are just these little portions here so you can only use technicals for the same contract if you really want to look at technicals uh, on a sort of continuous basis watch the yield I've got to be in my bonnet short crude uh, yesterday was Kind of, it was a pretty wild day. I mean, it went up, uh, went down, then went up. So we 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 went down 52.40, and we went back all the way up to 53.78. I 
all the way back down 5290 core short is the way we are core short we traded a few times yesterday uh, we were as serendipity would have it uh, on the right side of that still core short we do expect uh, this 5060 to trade maybe even this week equities don't understand this but it's now time to get short we traded all the way up to uh, 3003 we talked about selling 9505s we talked about having a soft core short when we were at 80 I'm sorry when we were at 73 um, we do have a soft core short we did sell uh, again up at 3000 I don't understand how this Brexit is creating um, positive risk flow for the S&P 500. A few of my colleagues have mentioned that there's there's uh, pension fund buying and yada 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 blah blah blah. Uh, but we like the short side on this. Uh, we believe if you look closely at what happened on the trade deal, uh, basically nothing happened. So we still think there's trade risk. We still think um, that the macro picture is is very foggy. So trying to remain core short equities, difficult, I would say. Um, but we're comfortable. You know, we're comfortable. Our average is around 84 now. We're comfortable core short ES. Gold. This is the uh, gold futures, bearish engulfs yesterday. Not sure what to make of this. It's a pretty bearish bar. Um, does I do think there's going to be risk below 1465. It doesn't really jive with uh, with what I think is going on uh, in euro dollar and in risk. So we're leaving this alone. But there have been some signals of late especially higher yields and reasons to sell gold obviously as ES gets to 3000 Brexit is solved um, this is risk on something to watch we're gonna see if we get another print down here at 1465 and then we may attack the gold chart um, as we see it not a whole heck of a lot else out there today. Uh, we do have oil inventories, so be careful with that. Let's see what else we have here in Europe. Um, not too much PPI. Nobody cares about that in the UK. It's Brexit or go home CPI. Normally we would care about that, but because of Brexit, it just overshadows everything. We have inflation out of Europe at 11 we should watch that mildly because we have fixed income and then we have uh, CPI out of uh, Canada that is actually important and brings me back to the short dollar CAD we talked about this yesterday um, selling between 35 and 55 it worked out pretty well we're still just sitting short the focus yesterday was obviously on Brexit and Euro but as Euro goes higher they'll also um, Put pressure downside dollar CAD not to mention uh, the story in Canada is very very strong we do think dollar CAD's heading for 130 uh, core short is the way all right that's all we got today uh, that CAD CPI uh, does sort of prick our little interest there looks like a relatively quiet morning ahead of us here we're trying if you're not long euros already try and get long euros um, short dollar CAD we like we're short boons obviously still and we are taking risk off the table on the long sterling side good luck people make some dough out there talk to you tomorrow ciao